All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Lizard K. Rule here, back with another video. Shout outs to everyone that's tuning in. As most of us know, Sony will be closing down the PS3, PSP, and PSP Vita online stores this summer, and a vast majority of the games that those stores have are now available via the PS4 and PS5 stores. So that means that once those stores close, you will not be able to buy those games. Those games like Sonic 4, PS1 classics like Tomb Raider, and PS2 classics like Contra Shattered Soldier. To make things worse, however, people have been having issues with buying games on the PS3 online store, myself included. And in this video, I'm going to show and talk about two of the issues I ran into and how to overcome them so you guys and gals can get those games that you want before the store closes. Now, let's get started with the first thing I ran across. All right, ladies and gents, so here we are in the PlayStation 3 online store. So the first issue that I personally ran into and what a lot of other people are experiencing is that when you try to buy a game, the option to buy the game isn't there. And in reality, it's actually there, but it's glitch. So what better way to show you guys what I'm talking about than by going and buying a game and and there's a game that i really do want to get so let me go and cop it here for you guys and gals home watching this video so what i'm going to go and buy is capcom versus snk2 mark of the millennium 2001 so we're going to come to the page and as you guys can see the option to add the game to the cart isn't there. The add to cart feature is gone. Now, I don't know what the fuck caused this to happen. I'm assuming there was an update for the PS3 online store and it caused a glitch, but um, the option's not there. Or I should say, it's not visible to the naked eye. What's really going on, however, is that the add to cart feature is it is invisible it's glitched you cannot see it so like you see right now how there is you know the highlight bar over overview i can go to recommendations so like i said the add to cart feature it's invisible it's still there but you cannot see it so what i'm gonna do again you guys are watching the highlight bar over recommendations right now i'm gonna go up to overview and then I'm gonna go up one more time. And now the highlight bar is gone. In reality, it's now highlighting over the add to cart option, but you guys can't see it because once again, the add to cart feature is invisible for some strange motherfucking reason. So I'm gonna add the game to the cart. And there you go. You can now go and proceed to checkout and go about your merry way. However, there is one more issue that I personally experienced and a lot of other people are experiencing. So I'm going to show you guys how to deal with that. All right, so an issue that myself and many other people have come across is that when you try to complete your purchase for the game you wanna buy in the PlayStation Store, that they get a error message and they cannot complete the transaction. Don't know why that is. There's really no explanation for that, assuming, besides me assuming that, you know, once again, an update possibly glitched out the store. But either way, whatever the cause, there is a solution to that as well. Now, um, this is what I did. What I did is um, I went to account management. Um, if it loads up. There we go. And then you go to system activation. You go to PS3 system. Um, obviously you click on game, activate system. And the activation is complete. And once I did that, I went back to the store and I was able to make the purchase and it's been smooth sailing since. So. 
maybe that will work for you guys. I've read online on Reddit and a few other pages, a few other sources, excuse me, that said that um, all they simply did was go into the store, come across the issue, exit the store, go back to the store, and they was able to make the purchase. Some people are saying that didn't work for them. This worked for me, and I know this worked for a few other people. So, hey, maybe it will work for you lovely ladies and gentlemen at home who are experiencing this issue. So, um, let me go and go complete that purchase. Yeah. All right. So, here we are. The game is downloading. It's pretty much done downloading. <laughs> All right. So um yep it's been it's been installed uh there we go capcom versus snk2 mark of the millennium 2001 ps2 classic installing this might take some time or maybe it will not take too much time mm -mm. that number is actually shooting up kind of quickly hmm. then again it is a 2d slash 3d ish game so Maybe it's just not that much data, but either way, the game is going to finish downloading just about now. Mm hmm. There we go. An installation is complete. And there we go. Capcom versus SNK2, Mark of the Millennium 2001, installed to the PS3. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, so, those are the issues that I came across, and those were the methods I used to defeat those issues. So, if you guys found this video helpful, or you guys just, you know, enjoy listening to my melatonin voice, then consider dropping a like on the video because that would be fucking amazing. And without anything else to add, I will say that I am Lucy K. Rule. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys found this video somewhat useful. And again, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications if you want to do that because, hey, don't you want to get notified when my sweet melatonin voice pops up and don't you want to listen to it? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just fucking rambling at this point. Once again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys found this video helpful, I'm glad. Go get those games before it's too late. You know, get your Suganas, your Capcom vs. SNKs, Max Payne's, your GTAs. Go cop them games, man, before it's too late. This is Lizard K. Rule signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Take it easy. Later.